Hey everybody, Don Dabney, owner of Left Coast Classics, and this is a pretty cool 1976 Porsche 914. And in this video, I'm going to take you around it, I'm going to take you under it, we're even going to take a ride in it. much fun these things are to drive. I haven't driven one in a long time. We're just getting down the road. We're like pushing 60 miles an hour in fourth gear. Beautiful sunny day. We've got a working stereo. The fan is working for the heater. The uh, All the gauges seem to be in good working order. The lights, the blinkers. The only thing I just noticed is not working is the horn and it feels like it may need a new contact switch. So we'll take a look at that. Otherwise, A-OK. -okay. Steering's nice and tight. Suspension feels good. Braking's quick. And we got weekend traffic. I just have to get used to that first gear on the bottom left. Anyway, seems to get in and out of gear nicely. Feels good. Very comfortable inside. Really nice. Nice little car, for sure. I love these, uh, the top on these things. All right, so there you go. If you got any questions, give me a call. This is my number right here. This is the best way to get a hold of me instead of all these kind of third-party 800 numbers from these other websites. Just get a hold of me right here on my 707 number. Also, there's a lot more information up on my website if you're not up there, if that's not where you found this link, up at leftcoastclassics.com, L-E-F-T, Left Coast Classics. Not my politics, just my location. So check all that out, and uh, we have done three episodes of my favorite car show, Wheeler Dealers. Be sure to check those episodes out if you haven't seen any of them already. One was an old uh, Thunderbird a long time ago, back in the Ed China days. I think that was in like 2012 or something. Then a cool Lancia Fulvia back in uh, 2018, and then a cool one owner Triumph TR4 that we did, I think at the end of 2020. So check all those out on Wheeler Dealers on Motor Trend. Give me a call anytime. And thanks for checking out this cool 1976 914.
Okay, let's head under the 914. I'll tell you, it's quite tidy under here. Look how clean all this engine transaxle stuff is. Looks really good. Things look very fresh and nice under here. Nice shocks. It's pretty dry. Everything feels dry under here. Nice, nice infrastructure up here. Floors look good. May have had some older repairs, but they look nicely done. Look in there. And uh, don't seem to be any problems over here. That's just surface stuff. This is uh, it's a very nice car. It's very nice under here. Got all these new bushings. Everything nicely gone through. Very tidy. Okay, so one thing I always like to do is just take a little magnet and go around the lower portions of the car and just, you know, this is the part you don't usually see when you're looking at ads for cars. And I think it can be telling. So it's, I just, this is a really light magnet. Don't fret, it's got a little film on the back of it so it won't scratch anything. But this is always nice to do this, especially if you're over in the Midwest or back East and you know how rusty and nasty cars can get. This is pretty quintessential California so far. Let's keep moving. It's sticking well everywhere. You know, I'm not detecting any filler, though. You never know in cars this age, but that's in good shape. That's nice. Good metal. 